Hey y'all, so I am actually, I didn't get to film as much as I wanted today and I think I'm just going to start tomorrow, but I wanted to um, share with you guys kind of what I do in my evenings because people may be interested in that, I don't know. Um, since I've been working from home, I don't really have like plans like after work. I know like pre-pandemic, I would have plans usually with friends to go to like a wine bar or something. Um, but obviously with COVID and everything and trying to be socially distant from people, um, I haven't been doing that. So I kind of just usually make dinner at home. I've been really good about not eating out as of recently, which means I usually spend more money on groceries every week because I'm not eating out anymore. Um, but I just feel better overall when I'm not eating out. And so I am actually just in bed right now. And I actually have... My accounting final is, it's due, I can take it whenever, it's a four hour exam, and it's due Saturday at midnight. Um, Derek is coming into town this weekend, so I'm trying to get it done before he comes into town, which hopefully is doable. So I've just been reviewing and watching old lectures and making sure I'm kind of familiar with everything before. And then I think tomorrow night, I'm actually going to be doing some exercises to kind of test myself to make sure that I'm ready for my exam. But tonight I kind of just wanted to chill out, review notes, and um, drink a glass of wine. And I actually just got my lashes done tonight, too. I went to, um, if you live in the Raleigh area, I went to the Lash Lounge. There's one in, whoops, my thing's not focusing. There is one in um, downtown Raleigh on Glenwood Avenue. And then there's also one, I believe, in Briar Creek which you would also run into it if you just kept going down Glenwood Avenue. So I've never been to the one in Briar Creek, so I can't, and I know they're different owners. So I really like the one I go to. Um, I used to go to one lady and then um, I ended up going to another lady because she was just more flexible with like her times that she could like take me and the other girl like was getting more clients and she wasn't really like expanding um, her hour, so it was more difficult to get an appointment with her, which is fine. Um, I just needed someone who could do my lashes like after work because it was getting really annoying having to like go in the middle of the day and you know schedule out times, because especially because I'm really busy at work and I need to be like doing work when I'm working. So that's what I do now. So I have my appointment at five o'clock. Um, I actually do have a video that I made on everything about my lashes and my falsies. Um, I'll link it right above us. Um, it's really trippy because my shadow is showing over here. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just enjoy the night. Um, my apartment is in a legitimate mess. So that may be on the to-do list for tomorrow morning. I also just finished editing a video. Um, I have a few more things to do for editing. I have to do the thumbnail. Um, but that is going up tomorrow morning. So you will see this, I believe, next Tuesday. So it's going to be today is the 17th. Tomorrow is the 18th. You'll have a video. And then the following Tuesday, this video will be going up. Um, an average day of an account. So, all right. I am going to go ahead and I am going to log off for the night. Um, and I will see you guys in the morning as always if you enjoy seeing these types of videos these accounting videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up so i know you're enjoying them and to make more also never forget to subscribe click that notification bell and give me a comment down below let me know how you're feeling um and i am going to go ahead and watch tv while i'm studying not the most productive thing by the way but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty prepared for this exam i'm just reviewing stuff um some light light studying okay.
morning. Um, it is the next morning. I didn't get as early as a start to my day as I wanted to, um, but I did make my coffee today. It is actually freezing rain outside. It doesn't look like it's freezing, but it is 32 degrees outside and raining, so that's a freezing point. So I was going to go to the gym, but the gym actually had a delayed open today. They're not opening up until 10 today, and I obviously have to work. So the gym probably isn't happening today just because I have to also... Uh, what did I, I was going to say? I also have to study for my exam on Saturday. I think I'm going to take it tomorrow, though, a little bit early. You can take it any time this week. It just has to, it's due midnight, at Saturday at midnight, but I want to have my weekend, so I'm doing it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I was going to go to the gym and go to Starbucks afterwards and try to, you know, get my workout done, but it was raining and I was like, you know, I'm just going to sleep in because I'm going to have a late night tonight and um, I'm going to do a bike ride during my lunch today. I usually take like 40 minutes to an hour for lunch, make sure I'm giving myself a adamant break. Um, because working during busy season can be a lot and it can take a mental to toll on you and I th think people don't think about that and some people just like go crazy ham and then like it's March and they're like literally dying. So um, yeah, so I am about to log on to work. Um, I have to also do a lot of errands just around today and then I also need to <laughs> my cat came up here I also need to kind of take my Christmas tree down do dishes laundry all that fun stuff just clean up vacuum so it's gonna be a busy day today and I when you're seeing this my other video was posted this morning at 8 a.m. so that was posted automatically I had that scheduled last night to post so that is a nasty gal haul uh, but yeah, so I have my coffee, I'm ready to log on to work, and I think that's it. I might make some breakfast in a little bit, so I'll show you guys that. But yeah, basically my mornings, most times like working from home, it just depends on the morning. Like if I am have been working on school or I was up late doing work, um, I will usually let myself sleep in. And um, sometimes I'll get up and go to the gym, I'll go get coffee, come back, do my Peloton, um, take a shower, make breakfast, get my coffee, but like mornings like this where I'm just kind of sleeping in, I'll get up, I'll shower, maybe I'll take a bath to just relax myself before a long day. I think self-care is so important and we sometimes forget to do it, so don't forget to do it. Even something as simple as just taking a really hot bath in the morning with like some Epsom salts. That's what I did this morning. I used Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. Um, it's the spearmint and eucalyptus scent. It smells so good. Um, but that just really helped relax me before a long day of work and now I'm caffeinating myself and I'm gonna make some breakfast and get on with the day. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So the first things I kind of do in the morning is go through my email. Um, I'll make sure that there's not anything like that's super important or any like immediate deliverables that need done first. That's the first kind of day. Um, I mean, the first thing I do during the day. Um, the big thing about my job is that we do have clients. So like anything during the day that needs to be taken care of gets taken care of first. And then any behind the scenes projects gets taken care of second. So this morning, I actually just surprisingly, I don't have any um, important emails, just stuff that I was kind of CC'd into, just like as FYI notifications. But this morning I am working on demographics for tax purposes. So for the investors, they have to have their tax information sent over. Um, everything from the names of their investment entities to the investor themselves. Uh, to their investor identification number, which is how we kind of identify them in their portal when we upload documents, and also their social security numbers, addresses. Those are all important things when tax accountants have to fill out the K-1 form, and it will eventually get sent to those locations. So very technical stuff. It's very important just because like if everything, if something's not right, like a social security number isn't right or like an address isn't right, 
then it gets sent to the wrong address. Now, luckily, a lot of these um, K1s will get uploaded into a portal, so it's more accurate with who's, be, who's gonna be able to view it, because that remember that I talked about that investor ID number? Um, that kind of identifies, oh, it's going to this person's account. So they have their own credentials to log in to see their tax forms. So it's a little better than snail mail. People like it because they can download their K-1 and you know save it to their desktop, print it out, or if they want to, they can securely send it to like their tax accountant um, who, or whoever organizes their taxes for the year. Um, but we do still have some people who really like to have their tax forms mailed to them still. So I also will mail them if they need to be mailed once they come in. But usually we expect, especially this year, because tax season really didn't start until February 15th, just with everything with the pandemic, go, excuse me, with the pandemic going on, um, they didn't, they're not gonna, it's gonna be a little bit later this year. So um, usually we expect to have um, K1s by mid-March and that's when I will go through and review those with my team and once we have come to the conclusion that everything is correct and we've sent everything back to the tax people that needs to be corrected if it doesn't look correct to us um, once everything's ready to go whoever is going to get mailed their K1 gets printed and I don't know how that's going to work this year um, we do have people in office but a lot of us are remote um, at our homes so it just kind of it's gonna be like a learning process you know we've never actually been through a full tax season um, working remote last year I think we started working remote in end of February but everything was kind of running on time last year with taxes and whatnot so we were basically done by the time it was time to work from home and all we had to do was send stuff out but it went pretty pretty smoothly last year so I'm hoping for the same this year um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions on tax, um, I don't personally do like the fundamental, like fill in the tax forms out. I'm pretty sure they use like some kind of software to do that. Um, and then they review that software. But our job, we do like more administrative stuff, like sending them the financials and the QuickBooks information, um, you know, balance sheets, financials, everything they need. Um, in regards to the individual investor will send them all the information so it's more of like an admin um more like an admin uh project but it's there really is no room for error at the same time if that makes sense like you have to get everything correct or things are going to come out and it's just going to be a catastrophe so it's really important for this project to pay really close attention to all the information to make sure everything is you know correct and um, consistent with the demographics. Okay, so I did wanna come on here and mention one thing. I mentioned earlier in this vlog that um, there are some people that do go into the office like to print like the tax forms and stuff. Um, also people who do payroll go into the office um, when they need to go in um, once a month. Uh, so p you do have the option. Some people have to do it just because like payroll purposes, like you can't do payroll from your home. Um, but some people will go into the office. Uh, my company has implemented social distancing policies. So like when you're walking around the office, you have to wear a mask. Um, they are placing most people who come in into offices. Since not everyone's coming into their office, they will place people into the office. And then when they leave, they have to like wipe everything down, wipe the computers down, the keyboards down, everything. Um, but I, you, we, I have the option to go in. I just don't think it's necessary that I need to go in. I don't do payroll. I don't do any of that. So I just, I feel like it's best if I just stay away until I have like both vaccines. Um, and yeah, so that is an option, but I'm, I'm guessing obviously like if you do decide to go into the office, they'll ask that you just out of consideration, test yourself to make sure that, you know, you don't have COVID. Um, but yeah, I do know people want to go back to the office. I don't necessarily want to go back into the office. Um, I kind of like working from my own area. There are challenges that come with it. But um, another thing is I remember last year when we were in lockdown and people weren't to be going into the offices, we had to get like these, um, and like we had to go in sometimes to do stuff. We had like these little slips of paper we would put on the dashboard of our car that would literally notify us as essential workers since tax is essential every year so that would make us essential workers <laughs> so 
if for any reason last year we had to go in during lockdown, we had to bring that slip of paper with us just in case we got pulled over and they asked like, where are you going? Why are you going into work? We would give them that piece of paper and they'd know it's essential work. Um, but that was just an interesting fact last year. We don't have to do that now because I know companies are letting some of their employees come back into the office, um, of course, with social distancing policies. But I just wanted to put that in here. Um, I am not planning on um, the foreseeable future going into the office until I have the vaccine. I have both vaccines. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, I don't want to get anything and I wouldn't want to give anyone else anything. So that's just tr trying to be, you know, considerate for others around me. Um, so I just wanted to slip that little blurb in here and I'm going to continue working and grab some breakfast. Okay, so another thing that I've kind of started doing um, is every time I um, make in order. Hi. <laughs> I'm filming. I'm filming. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? <laughs> so anyway, I need to take him out for a walk. Um, something that I've started doing when I do orders, like I have, I have a lot of orders this month, um, just a lot of stuff that I needed um, that I've been kind of sitting on and waiting. So a couple things that I have started to um, do is make a list of all the orders that I have ordered just so I can kind of track because sometimes like shipping around, especially this apartment complex, um, there's been several times where like I have ordered stuff and it doesn't come and I'm pretty sure because people put it in the wrong mailbox. And I've also had my neighbor I found my neighbor across the way. I found her stuff in my mailbox and I was super confused. I got like a Sephora box the other day and I was like, this is, I did not order anything from Sephora. So I just put that in front of her door. I didn't want to knock or anything. I don't really know her, but just thought I'd do the neighborly thing, you know? Um, but I did order Sargent a bark box. So that, I just checked the status of that this morning and, um, I think they're going to tell me it says we're packing your first box. So I ordered him a box for February and I got a year um, subscription. So I paid for a year subscription ever since I basically started leaving him out of his crate. When I leave the apartment, I've been very concerned that like one day I'm going to come home and he's going to have literally like demolished something. So I think by getting like these bark boxes and I'm actually getting him the super chewer box because he chews through stuff super quick and i think by getting this box it's gonna just kind of give him more options on chew toys so he's not more likely to go after something like my couch or my bed or my chair legs stuff like that so that is my first box i used a promo code that i found online and i got my first box for like 15 dollars but i think every month it's 30 dollars this is not sponsored i wish it was sponsored but it's not obviously but um, I'm just going to see how it goes for the first year and we'll see if I like it, I'll stay on. If I don't like it, then I'll just cancel it. Um, but yeah, I really am excited. He gets two, I think with your first order, you get extra toy. So he's, so you get 50% off and you get an extra toy, which is amazing. So he's getting three different to chew toys and then three, um, two chew sticks. And then he gets two treat bags i'm pretty sure so that'll be fun um he'll enjoy that so that's coming in and i also ordered an espresso finally i ordered an espresso because i have an issue when it comes to starbucks like guys i have a legitimate issue like it is not okay and i think i've gotten starbucks three times this week and that is like that ain't normal sis so i ordered an espresso off of bed bath and beyond um, I also ordered a 40 count Nespresso pod variety pack um, from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, but I will say that I didn't realize that it wasn't going to get here until March 3rd and my Nespresso gets here on this, this coming Sunday. So when you see this video, I'll already have the Nespresso. Um, so I had to go on Amazon 
and order a 30 count of the same kind of variety pack. So I'm just gonna have extra for next month, which is fine. I don't think I'm gonna be using the espresso every single day, but um, it's definitely gonna help me kind of make my own coffee creations in my own home. It's gonna save money. Cause the drinks that I get at Starbucks are like $8 on average. Cause I usually when I go to get Starbucks, I get a venti cause like I'm working all day. So I want a coffee for the whole entire day. But that is coming, and then the pods are coming um, from Amazon, and then Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, so I just write that down on my like little like notes area of my agenda, so I know that's coming in. Another thing that's coming in is from Thrive Market. I hopped on the bandwagon with Thrive Market. I have been spending so much money on snacks that I really don't even eat slash aren't that healthy for me. So I've I'm hoping by ordering a monthly box from Thrive that I will be able to kind of minimize like the bad snacking and it's a very sustainable company. Everything is affordable and the one thing that I really love is that they have like these little smart sweets that you can find at like Whole Foods and they're like really, they're like a healthier alternative to a dessert and I really wanted those and I think like when you get them at the store they're like five bucks like a pack and they're like two 2.99 or something um on thrive so i wanted to get those i do think there are some products i will say that like you can't just get one you have to get two so like they make you get two but it's a really good price for what you get and i think if you get anything above like i forget what the price what price you have to get but i'll put it like right here um, if you go above a certain price point, you get free shipping. Um, I think I spent like 65 ish dollars. Um, but those snacks will probably literally last me like the whole month, if not two months. So it was a bunch of stuff, but when I get it, I'll show you guys like what I got in a video. I'll probably do a review with my boyfriend and see what he thinks about it. Um, and then the last thing is coming from Caseify. I got a new phone case. I was really hesitant to get a new phone case because I didn't know if I was going to be getting a new phone or not. But I have, this phone's paid off. It's been paid off since uh, April or May of 2020 and it works fine. The speaker is obviously has some stuff in it and it's getting older. It's the eight plus, but um, there's nothing wrong with it. And I just feel like I shouldn't be spending more money on a phone if there's nothing wrong with my phone. Obviously if the screen cracks or there is possibility of it getting water damage because the, the screen is cracked or like the speakers just aren't working or I, you know, my, the touch screen's not working, I'll obviously get a new phone, but for now we're just gonna hold off. But I have a really, really cute case coming and I will show you guys that when it gets here. But that is all the packages that I have gotten <laughs> thus far this month. So maybe I'll do a video on, or like an unboxing video or something. That could be fun, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait for everything to get here. When the Nespresso gets here, I'm obviously gonna take that out of the box because I need to use that one. Um, but yeah, I got a really good price for it on Bed Bath & Beyond. I got the, it's like a matte black. I'll put a picture right here, but you got like the whole package. You got like the frother. Um, you did, the one thing that you didn't get with it was like the holder for the Nespresso pods underneath. But I honestly think I'm just gonna get like a, a jar, like a glass jar to put beside it and put all the Nespresso pods in there. But yeah, that's my little, my little update. But it's just a really good idea to stay organized and um like i just put like all my stuff right here sorry for my bad handwriting but i just put all the stuff that i ordered so like when it comes i can check it off and then if it doesn't come this month i'll put it on march's um calendar for it to come in and if it doesn't come in i know i need to follow up with the company and be like hey where's my package so that's just another organization tip that i like to do and i've started doing over the past month to stay more organized in my life um, because with everything going on, life can get very hectic. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make some breakfast and I will show you guys what I make. Okay, I just took Sergeant out to go to the bathroom. It is so cold. Um, if you're from North Carolina, we just had like a ice storm last night. Not really like an ice storm, it was like freezing rain. But you go outside and it is frigid. Like it went right to my bones and he had to go to the bathroom so I took him out, but people the one thing that i do not like about this apartment complex is that they don't do those dna testing things like if you don't know what that is they take a swab of saliva from your dog's mouth 
and they will uh if they find poop like around like the property like they'll take a like people literally come every week to get like a little sample of it and if it matches your dog's dna or whatever um they fine you for like not picking up your dog's waste but they don't do that here i don't know why because I have, they always say that they've tried it and doesn't work. I was like, what? And it's definitely a bigger apartment complex. So I feel like it shouldn't be that expensive to do, especially when I've stayed at like smaller complexes that made us do it. Um, and I've emailed them several times. I don't mean to be like a Karen about it, but like, I just think it's so inconsiderate when people let their, like leave their dogs waste on the ground. Like if you're one of those people, like, please don't own a dog. Like that's just, that's like you going to the bathroom and going number two and then in a public place and then like not flushing the toilet and just leaving it there, which some people have done that, which I don't understand that, but just, you have a dog, take responsibility for your dog. They're not able to pick up their own poop. Just be considerate to your neighbors, especially when you're in an apartment complex. Cause I know like there's been a lot of complaints about it and I don't know. I think it's the same person doing it. And I just don't know who, but just a reminder to everyone who owns a dog in an apartment complex, please pick up after your pets. It's the right thing to do. And it's part of being a considerate neighbor. Okay guys, here is the final product. This is actually a HelloFresh recipe. I just kind of recreated it on my own. Um, it's an apple bacon flatbread with onions and ricotta spread. So I will actually leave the link to the recipe down in the description on the HelloFresh website. Um, I will order usually order from HelloFresh every once in a blue moon um, when I don't feel like cooking or coming up with recipes myself, but I just recreated one because it looked really good and I never tried this one before so I'll let you guys know how this tastes but yeah so this has granny smith apples red onion bacon ricotta the ricotta spread is like ricotta cheese it was like four ounces of ricotta cheese um I think like a tablespoon of olive oil and then some salt and pepper mixed up together and then the balsamic um the balsamic onions I don't actually have any balsamic I forgot to pick it up at the store but I just cooked the onions in the bacon like grease, which is probably isn't the healthiest thing, but um, this is so yummy. I'm gonna eat it while it's hot and I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay guys, so it is a little bit later. It is around almost one o'clock. Um, I'm still working on tax prep, so I just wanted to check in with you guys um, because 
I am to check back check stuff I usually take exports from the portals themselves that has all like the addresses demographics everything and I'll usually use like an index match and if you don't know what an index match is this formula has saved my life in so many ways while working like I use it on everything so that's a really important formula um you can literally go look it up online it literally pulls an information and if the information doesn't equal each other or it's not the same value it'll give you an error message and then you'll know like what needs to pinpoint and what doesn't need it. It really helps when you have a large amount of data and you're trying to figure out if things are pulling correctly and if it doesn't pull correctly it's not matching up. Um, you can use that to pinpoint what needs to have more focus or maybe you need to put a closer eye on something and then I also am using if statements to make sure that um, stuff like addresses are matching up on both my spreadsheets so you can use if statements people wow my hair looking real crazy today um, people like using the lookups also the only issue I have with the VLOOKUP is when you're using a VLOOKUP you can't reference anything if you're putting it in column D in Excel for example you can't reference something in column A B or C Anything to the left of the column that you're putting that formula in, you can't reference or it'll give you an error message. Um, that's why I really, really recommend using index match instead of VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP because you can literally do everything with index match. But yeah, so I am just gonna continue to do this. I know it's not very exciting, but you guys asked for a day in the life of an accountant. So <laughs> this is what I'm doing today. Every day is a little bit different, um, but this week since it is tax season, um, this is the majority of what I do and it's for like 45 to 50 different investment entities so it's a lot um, and it takes up about a month to a month and a half of my time to get through everything. It's not the most like entertaining thing to do but it has to get done so. How cute my little angel is. I literally came in to come to the bathroom and he was laying on my bed. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute, baby? Hi, babies. Oh, are you tired? How's your Thursday going? Mine's pretty hectic. Good. Ugh, he's so cute, guys. Okay, so I am more than halfway through work today, and I am exhausted, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh. His tail hit my camera. <laughs> I am completely exhausted. I'm so tired. <sighs> like, oh my God, the bed's so warm where my dog was laying. He got his hair everywhere. We love that for ourselves. It is just a crummy day out. It's still raining. I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain all day long. I don't think it's planned on stopping. Um, but yeah, this is my day. I make sure a really big part of being able to work a full like eight nine hours a day is making sure you take like 15 to 30 minute breaks like here and there i'm not taking i'm not saying every single hour but if you're working for like three hours straight make sure you're taking like at least a 15 to 20 minute break just to get up stretch your legs walk around your apartment maybe go put a load of laundry or something do something else besides work i figured like sometimes like what happens to me is that i'm sitting at my desk for so long i like start to fall asleep and you kind of lose productivity and focus and it's a really big problem for me and i have to just get up and walk around and i know it's really easy just to sit at your desk for like the whole day but you got to get up just like when you get up and go to walk to the bathroom at work you got to get up at home and walk around my bathroom's a complete mess i hopefully you guys can't see it um but yeah oh i do want to show you guys this though so this tool is like it's like a carpet rake and i use it because i have a shark to vacuum in my apartment but because i have two pets and my dog has a two-layer coat um it gets caught very easily in my um, vacuum and it can like kind of clog it up and so I have to clean out my vacuum and like take my scissors to my vacuum and cut the hair out so this kind of this helps a ton because I can rake like my carpet for example you just kind of like do this I'm doing it with one hand but you rake it and it even on the corners too it like picks up all the hair out of the carpet and then you can like 
you know, take it with your hand and just throw it out so you're not, it's not going into your vacuum, which may seem counterintuitive, but like, if anyone who has more than one pet, you understand where I'm coming from when I say that, like, when you have animals that shed, you are vacuuming every single day. It is ridiculous, but this definitely helps. I'll rake my carpets before I vacuum around the apartment, and I have noticed, like, exponentially less hair is getting caught in my vacuum. So I, I don't know where this was from. It was actually a gift from my mom because she came down and saw that it was a mess. My vacuum was a mess. So she actually got this for me. Um, but I will try to find something similar on Amazon and link it down in the description if anyone's interested. He was just moving a minute ago, but do y'all's dogs ever just like move in their sleep? Like they like run in their sleep. It's literally the cutest thing. But then there's sometimes where he'll be like, um, he'll be like, you like almost chirping or like yelping in his sleep. And I hope he's like not having a nightmare. You're like, look, he's doing it again, his back foot. I think it's literally the cutest thing. Like before I started filming, he was like in full speed running, like, on, sideways on the ground it was so cute um I think I looked this up and it was like they're in like their REM state like they're dreaming and I think it's the cutest thing ever but he's just passed out he even has like a full-size dog bed and everything but he just wants to be near which is so cute Okay, so I'm finally studying. I'm just going over and reading the material just so I can read through it to try to understand it again. Um, I'm just going over present and future value. Um, pretty simple stuff. And then I'm also watching Rachel um, Ratke's new vlog that just went up today and I love her. She's actually a Raleigh based um, vlogger or YouTuber, um, but I think she's moving to Colorado, but definitely check her out. Another YouTuber I love to watch is Rachel Ratke. And I think her Instagram is like Rachel Ratke. So y'all should go check her out. I really wanted to go to Starbucks and get a coffee because I feel dead right now, but it's like 7.30 and they close at 8, so maybe I could try to find one that closes at like 10 and go. I actually, I'm kind of interested to see if one is open. They're usually around here. They're only open until like 8 and they close at 8. I don't know if that's like a COVID thing or what, but... From where I'm from, they're open till 10. <laughs> um, let me try to find like another Starbucks. I don't know. Please don't all close. These are all closing. I think they're all closing. Oh wait. Okay. There's one in Cary that doesn't close until 10. So I might try to swoop by there and see 
if I can get a coffee because I am dying you guys like and I know I feel like I do this all the time like when I need to study I always like low-key like find other things to do like take a like a shower or like cook a really nice dinner I am back and I got the goods this is the TikTok drink I found this I saw this one on TikTok. It is a grande iced white mocha, no whip, caramel drizzle, blonde shots of espresso. I think they put like three in a, in a grande, two in a grande, I forget. Um, and then instead of whipped cream on top, you're gonna do the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. Beautiful, so good. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but it definitely wakes you up, so. Um, I'm about to take Sergeant out to go to the bathroom because it is freezing out and once I start studying I'm not going back outside so I am going to get him on his leash. You want to go potty? I gotta, find a, I gotta find a poop bag. You want to go potty? I get so excited to go outside just to go to the bathroom. I wish I got that excited to go to the bathroom. Hey y'all, so quick update. I am still studying. I'm actually reviewing a quiz I'm gonna turn in here in about an hour. We had like 20 questions. She gave us like two hours to complete everything. It's on net present value um, and future value. So all that fun stuff. I'm a little unsure about my exam tomorrow, but I think the best option for me is to take it in the morning. So I'm gonna go to bed by 12.30 just so I can get like at least five hours of sleep and get up and have four hours before I have to go to work. I might log on to work a little bit late tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then be all set to go. So um, it is multiple choice. So the her midterm was an Excel spreadsheet and basically we had to like fill everything out. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm taking accounting, like an intro to accounting for my master's program. So it's just like basic stuff. Like the first exam was like an Excel file and you basically had to connect like your journal entries. Like you had to do your journal entries given like what your, whatever your description was given for the purchases and whatnot. And then you had to connect that, connect that to your T accounts from the T accounts to a balance sheet or a trial balance then a balance sheet and so on. Do all like every statement, cash flow statement, retained statement of retained earnings, um, income statement. So you had to do basically everything you do like in financials or that make up financials, that's what you'd have to do. And it took forever. I was freaking out because I'm not like used to doing it like that. I'm used to interpret interpreting those statements, not so much connecting them myself. Plus we have software that does it for us. <laughs> But it is very useful, but this is going to be multiple choice tomorrow, so hopefully it's a little bit better and I'm able to like focus more on what's going on. And if not, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to get it done in the morning because I have the best focus, best brain memory in the morning, um, or memory retention in the morning. And as the day goes on, I get more tired and more tired. And I just know if I wait till five o'clock to do the exam, I'm going to be beat. And so tired and it's just not a really good way to start the weekend so I'd rather get it done in the morning and then do my work and just push through work and I'll probably have like an early ending day tomorrow honestly I'll probably get off at four o'clock just because it's gonna be a long day so um, I am gonna log off here I hope you guys enjoy today I I'm sorry if it wasn't eventful that's just kind of like what I do in a day especially during tax season it's just a lot of like data collection and getting everything prepared and organized. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of these days in the life um, working remote accounting type videos. Um, and don't forget to click that bell so you never miss another upload with me and I will see you guys in the next one.